Welcome back to the Budget Reef. I have to say, it's gotten a little bit more spacey up in here. Everybody's all moved in. Combine my bio cube and my 13 and a half gallon Evo. And all together, this was a process. But I'm happy. Right now, what you're seeing is me. I dropped one of my hippogaros in the actual tank because I was messing with this glass top and it messed up. So as you can see, I have both hippogaros running. I'm using my good one over here to the left to actually pump air through my old one and actually keep it cool because only the blue channel works on it right now. And then I have my old current orbit that has just been on in the back burner for a long time and I was like you know I need lighting to light this whole sucker until I uh, get my new stuff in the mail and uh, so far it's uh, supposedly gonna be here this Saturday so I'll be doing a review over the new Hippogero 78 watt LED so you guys stand by for that now when the video actually comes out that is a whole nother story so here we have my sump and uh, I upgraded my pump that's actually in there. It was a, a crap, you know, kind of old, not enough power for what I really want to have flowing through here. And so I ended up going with uh, another brand uh, that I'll link later in the video, but I just wanted to give you all just a look. Uh, I don't want to go over all the products just as of yet. I just want to at least give you a look at what's going on in here. So, um, uh, I believe this is a 30 gallon sump. Here I have uh, my Chato Morpha, or not Chato, this is uh, Calerpa. No, it isn't, it's not Calerpa. What is the name of this stuff? Either way, it's a macro algae, and I have it helping out right now. These are my old sponges out of the BioCube, and uh, I'm using them all to just help seed this water and seed this tank to help win um, a little ATO reservoir. So if you guys ever struggle with finding a good ATO reservoir, go buy one of them two and a half, three and a half gallon beta tanks and uh, that works out pretty well. Uh, I had that one sitting under my house from when I had my betas living in it. And uh, yeah, so this is my new 90 gallon tank. Uh, my clowns are happy. All my fish are real happy. I don't want to get any too big crazy fish. All I did get was a file fish. And he's real cool. There's a, a bass. I can't remember. A long lagang. Something like that bass. I can't say his freaking name right. But uh, yeah. Everything is going pretty well. Um, I'm sure the tank's just processing. Pseudochromus named Gamma can be a huge douche. Uh, I think he or she fought with my Blenny and probably killed it, or my Blenny's just hiding. Oh, there he is. There's that bass I was telling you about. He's just a little percher and he likes sit living it up in here. Um, if you guys are all looking for like you know big seashells and stuff like that, and you're like, where do you get this? Um, I actually found that at a thrift store for like 10 bucks and I was like that's worth it because if you were to buy that from a pet store or anything like that you know it's going to be like $80 for a giant shell or something stupid like that. These guys love being on the video. But um, yeah I just wanted to at least let you guys see that there are some changes that have came about during this whole COVID and everything else in the world going crazy i've been trying not to so this is my new 90 gallon reef that i'm going to be working on and trying to keep nice happy and stable and get it growing and maturing well uh you can see all my anemones have made it everybody made it over except for two of my urchins one urchin is kind of half-assed in there he's excuse my french half but whatever I, I don't want to curse too much on my channel, all right? I've said enough, and I don't want to do that anymore. I, I like keeping it clean. 
All right. So anyway, yes, there have been a lot of changes. Uh, two of the urchins ended up getting pretty messed up. That guy included. The other one I don't think made it. He looked like he lost every spine he had. So that really sucked. I think he got crushed by one of the rocks when I was moving him into here. Um, I bought this tank used, but uh, I know that's good and bad in some people's opinions. Uh, so far, it's a good used tank, and I think it's just doing wonderful. So it's looking real good, good and real nice and happy. I've definitely got to upgrade my pumps and uh, my lighting, but everybody is pretty happy. Now, as you can see, I definitely put some of my more, uh, even though these softies and zoas aren't very demanding when it comes to light, I put them up top and they definitely seemed happier. The screen star is a little upset, but it's been looking healthier. Same with these uh, giant mushrooms, which my clowns love hosting in. And um, to make this tank work, this floor, you know, you see them scratches right in here, don't you? I do. That sucks, but you know, it's whatever. There's a lot of surface area in here and a few minor scratches aren't a thing because my bio cube had a few, but hey, my 90 gallon has a few as well, they're character. But uh, it's actually really cool. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, my thing that I want to get to is uh, figuring out dosing whenever I get some more coral in here because right now it's just softies and you know, they're not really soaking up that much at least uh in terms of calcium or anything like that they might eat a little bit of alkalinity and uh in uh iodine and magnesium but nothing really too crazy but yeah so uh i was gonna ask everybody what their opinion would be on what light i should go with like when it comes to like the hippogero or a red sea reef 90 but i'm like you know that doesn't like stick with the budget idea of that i go for like i'm not trying to bank the bank break the bank in running my reef i just want to get what works and at least show y'all what you can do to have an inexpensive reef i mean they're all gonna cost money but at least if i can make it a little cheaper why not you know what i mean at least in showing you different products now um i would love to have that wi-fi enabled kind of lighting but i honestly all my stuff is still going to be analog and i don't want to drop 600 you know more dollars on buying new lights uh this 90 gallon is fine uh it's pretty good so far i have no problems with it um no complaints is what i mean like it's all running real well and uh i like it uh the fish like it too and that's really what uh i wanted to do it for because they uh they were cramped up in that bio cube and felt bad for them so uh now they have hella room to grow i don't want to get a bunch of big fish i want to make this tank stocked with a bunch of small guys and just have a good time with the actual tank um i would love to do like some damsels as well but <clears throat> i don't like how aggressive damsels can become so if i can find a good schooling fish that isn't too aggressive or doesn't clash too hard that'll be my goal the one fish that i wished i would have not put in this tank is that pseudochromus um i had the ability to get rid of them when i was moving everybody out and i was like oh you know what i'll give him a chance and i really shouldn't when you have a bad fish and he doesn't belong there and you have a chance to get him out get him out because you won't regret that because they're going to continue to be a bad fish um he just likes pecking at everybody and he's a carnivore you know i can't help that i'm cool with him he's just a slight douchebag so see what i mean like him and my brass go at it a little fart head but we'll see he likes going in this shell right here and i'm planning on it when he goes in that shell to reach in and see if i can't get him out and uh take him to the pet store and train him out Anyway, thanks for checking out my 90-gallon uh, reef that's starting up as of 
a week last week is when it got started. Yeah, I need to actually get some pods and just seed this tank a little bit just so that uh, these two uh, <clears throat> mandarins get along. Which is funny, I think this one is already uh, mated with a Dragonette Mandarin with all the stripes on it, because it has stripes on its head and then it has its little dots. So it is funny. I hope that they're not both females, but I think they might be. Um, either way, we'll see what happens. Uh, they're enjoying it. They have hella room to graze and all the rock in here has been pretty awesome. I haven't put in all the pieces that this tank came with, but I put in all my pieces that were live rock so that it would really help seed it and I wouldn't have a huge cycle that I'm going through. And so far, no nitrite. Um, nitrates are a little high, around 30 ppm, if not 20. And that's not perfect, that's not good, but it is cycling. So uh, in that sense, it's doing pretty well. Uh, a water change may come, may not. It really depends on how it's testing at the end of this week. Um, it's where I'll draw the line on what I need to do. But so far, so good. Tank looks happy. You guys are gonna see some new lighting over here. This looks really dismal. And you know what I'll do? I'm gonna back up. So when we see this now, and then you guys see it with the 78 watt later, you can kind of judge what you think about it. Anyway, thanks for checking out the Budget Reef, and this time, for real, for real, peace.